Hello everyone, today we are going to go through Strange Counter, which is a problem under implementation session of algorithm on occurring. So, without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So, here is the problem statement. Before getting deep into the problem statement, I really encourage you to subscribe to not miss what you are doing here in terms of data structure, algorithm, and problem solving strategy. Okay, so uh, here we have a strange counter like the name of the SSI is saying. So uh, we have a given number of slots, I would say so, and then each of the slots is actually doubling each cycle. Here we have a slot of size 3. Here this one is actually size 6 which is 3 times 2. This is actually 12 which is 6 times 2 and so on. So the size of the slot are actually doubling. And then uh, we have a time which is keeping increasing. And then for each slot we have, we have a value which is moving from 1 to the value of the, of the slot, the, the last value of the slot. And we are supposed to find out by receiving a given time, what is the value associated to that time? So that is the, that is the goal of the SSI. Uh, to understand more of what we are supposed to do, let us take this example for instance. If we receive as input 7, we are supposed to return 3. If we receive as input 11, we are supposed to return 11 because it's the value attached to the time 11. If we receive as input 15, we are supposed to return 7. So globally, that's our goal here, solving that. Now, what will be our approach of solving this? Um, after this example, the approach I will use is, okay, I can see that the, the, the different slots are following a, a given pattern, which is the last slot times two. So um, I will first of all have a, a, a variable that will give me the, the actual slot. And then what I will do is that I will, I will add that actual slot to the previous last time. What does that mean? That means, okay, I will initiate my time at 3. And then this is actually a slot of 6. I will say 6 plus the last value to have the last value of this step. And then the last value of this one will actually be the size of the slot plus this last value. This is actually 12 plus 9, which will give me 21. And I will keep doing so until the time I have as input is actually greater than, than the time of the last slot. Once I will have the time which is directly lower, I will know that, okay, I'm actually on the slot where the time is. And then I will perform a simple uh, subtraction to have the result. So how will it look like? So like I was saying, I will have two variables here. Um, the last value which is actually 3 for now and then uh, the step which is actually the step which, is, which will be initiated also at 3 and then I will say why the time is actually greater than the last value what I will do is that I will say okay I need to move to the next slot the next slot is actually the next step for me which will take the last value times 3 and then I will say, okay, the last now will take the value you were having plus the actual step, like I was saying. And at the end of this loop, if I'm getting out of this loop, that means, okay, the time is actually on the current slope. And then if the time is actually on the current slope, what I should return is, what I should return is actually last minus t minus 1. Why this one not plus 1? Why am I saying that? Okay, let's assume that you are on the last which is 21 and then you have a time of 21 you need to return 1 which is 21 minus 21 plus 1 let us assume you have a time of 6 and then you you you, you get out of at 9 we need to return 9 minus 6 which is 3 plus 1 which should give you this value 4 so basically that is the idea of solving this uh, let us run and see what it gives We have a congratulation let us submit nice so this was my approach of solving this i hope you did enjoy it feel free to leave me a message in the comment section so extension anything related to this topic don't forget to subscribe like share see you on the next video ciao